Hello everybody, today we are going to talk to you about the basics of Telegraph query language, otherwise known as GSQL. Here is a series of uh, an overview of the series we're going to talk about. Uh, today we'll be talking about the select statement and the where clause. And hopefully by the end of it you will have a clear understanding of how to use it. A select statement is the most fundamental block to building a query. It handles the logic of traversing one set of vertices to another. This tutorial will guide you through all the essential mechanisms of a select statement you need to know. Everything will be explained in plain language and using animations. In the end, you will gain a clear understanding of how a select statement works and what exactly you need to implement your traversal logic in GSQL. Here we can see this, the basic structure and syntax of a query block. On the top left hand side, you can see the bare bone structure and optional elements each query block can contain. Each of these elements is optional except for from and select, which are mandatory for every query block. On the right hand side, you can see the basic diagram of how a query block executes each select statement. It starts from from, going through all the optional elements you may or may not include, and ends with select. You may notice that <clears throat> you type select first in a GSQL query, but it executes last because it will only select those that pass through all the optional elements you, which you may have included. We will talk more about these optional elements in further videos. So now let's show you the schema we will be using for our small demonstration. Let's use a small social schema of users and when they became friends. So let's think of Facebook for as, a, as an example. Each user or person uh, is a vertex with attributes age and gender and the edge connecting these users will contain the attribute of the day they first became friends. Let's move on to the select statement. Each select statement uses a set of edges to traverse the graph from one set of vertices to another. Using the setup I just introduced to you, let's perform a simple traversal to find all the friends of a specific person. The select statement is a fundamental building block of each query, which allows us to traverse the graph. In our specific case, we will be performing a one-hop traversal to find all of a specific user's friends. So here we can see the query we will write to do this. The query's name is getFriends, and it will accept a vertex of type user for our specific graph. Moving down, we can see start. Start is a vertex set containing the vertices that we pass through while calling the query. The vertex set may contain an arbitrary number of vertices, but in our specific case, we will only be passing in one vertex. Friends is also a vertex set, which contains the results of our traversal by selecting T. So now you may be wondering what T is. To answer that question, let's begin with the from clause. The from clause finds edges which match the pattern start, which is our source vertex, is friend, which is the edge type we're using, and user, which is the target vertex we have restricted ourselves to. The select statement will only traverse the edges that match this declared edge vertex type. You may notice that T, S, and E are all highlighted a different color. They are known as aliases, and to better help you understand what they are and how they work, we've included this diagram below. S is used to denote all the start vertices, E represents all the edge instances, and T represents all the target vertices. So in our case, user A 
B and C are all selected and then stored in the friends vertex set. Aliases always come after a colon symbol and they can be renamed to whatever you want because they are not reserved keywords. Once we have stored all the results, we can print them out. So now let's review our query. When we first call our query get friends, we pass in an input vertex of type user, which we will use at a, as the starting point for our graph traversal. We will only traverse the edges of type is friend and we will store the target vertices of type user into our vertex set friends. Once they have been stored, we can print them out. These are the most basic and essential elements of a select block. Now let's move on to the where clause. In previous slides, I showed you how to traverse the graph by selecting edges and vertices under designated types. Now I'll show you how to use the where clause by writing a query that finds all female friends that were connected during 2018. The where clause can filter out edges that do not satisfy a specific condition. And since the where clause works on each selected edge, it has access not only to the edges, but also the source and target vertices. Here in our new example, the highlighted where clause checks for two conditions. The first condition it checks for is that the two friends were connected between a given time frame, and the second condition it checks that each target vertex gender attribute is female, or F. To check for the attributes, we use alias dot attribute name to access the specific attribute we were looking for. By checking these two conditions, we can filter out the second and third edge. So in our friends vertex set, only user A will be stored and only user, user A will be printed in the end. So today we learned the basics of the select statement along with how to use the where and and clauses. We'll have another video demonstrating today's lesson through Graph Studio, which is another tire graph feature. And we hope to see you in our next episode where we will be talking about accumulators, which is another important element of the select block. See you next time.